Hi guys, episode 4 and we're 3 games down. For the last 2 weeks we've been playing Fantasy Zone 2 and the version we were playing was a reimagining of a full fat sequel to the original, capable of playing on the same original hardware, the System 16 board. The game came out in 2008 but is actually dated 1987 in the game. Overall I thought this was great, despite not having as much time as I would have liked to play it. The controls are pretty tight and like the original game it's almost certainly inspired by Defender. You destroy the floating enemies that release further enemy ships, kill all of them and it moves on to the boss. An interesting dynamic is the ability to move between light and dark. The dark stages have more challenging enemies and bosses but yield more score. Another interesting dynamic is the shop system where you can spend coins that you've collected to get limited time power ups and additional lives. Having the right power up at the right time is key as is so often the case in shmups. I just found it really enjoyable, a bit like a puzzle shmup, especially the bosses. Shame I couldn't play more. Let's take a look at the scores. I've had 17 scores sent to me, including returns from Lucas, MKM Retro Gamer, and Retro Dad's Den. We also have three new entries. We have scores from Neil, Gradius57000, and Charlie Farr, both of whom we've played before. And then we have a score from my real life friend, Rob. There are a couple of apologies from both Paul and Retro Arcade Challenge, both of which were having issues getting the correct ROM. We can see a pretty gradual increase in score through to Bob in 9th, then a bit of a jump up to me in 8th. I was definitely good for more, but this was only 1 or 2 coin drops. Ian is just ahead of me in 7th, Milthy another 10,000 ahead in 6th, and my Retro Tech on 150,000 in 5th, not far from Graham in 4th. Third is another good score from Blue Yak with 167,000. Then we have a bit of a gap to Neil with 229,000. He definitely likes a shmup. But with another dominant performance here once again is Big Jaffa. He's 3 from 3 now this season, and as I said last time, he means business, and he's confirmed it here. Great job with this one. Now the score distribution. We've got something that's trying to be normally distributed with 4 people in one bin slightly to the right of the middle. Neil is in the next bin, on his own, showing he's done well, but 2 bins ahead, and very much an outlier here, is Big Jaffa. Don't think anyone was going to get close, even with a chunk more time. Next up is the difficulty curve, and it's a pretty gradual increase, with only a few little bumps here and there. Over on the right though, we do see the curve steepen, suggesting the difficulty possibly levels out. But those scores are from our top 2, both of whom are pretty handy when it comes to shmups, so it might not be representative. Finally the progress over the couple of weeks. My score led for a bit before Juff took the lead. He was then not to be caught. He upped the score twice in the second week, and whilst Neil came close, Juff's final score put him well out of reach. Blue Yuck in third gave it a good few goes, and made some decent progress, as did Milthy. Before we find out our next game, let's take a look at the leaderboard. We've had 23 different people take part so far, which is great. MKM Retro Gamer is up a couple into 17th, Robert is up 1 into 11th, and My Retro Tech is up 3 into 9th. Neil is straight into 8th, with that second place. Let's see if I can tempt him to come back again. Then in our top 6, there isn't much movement at all. Milthy has got ahead of me and Colin but otherwise the places are the same. Our leader should be a shock to no one. With 3 wins from 3, he's now 120 points clear of last season's winner Graham, so definitely the early favourite. Now let's find out what our next game will be. Our next genre is racing game, one we've not had for a while, so I'm looking forward to this. I've had 9 games sent to me, and only one was repeated, which was Road Blasters, from both Colin and Retro Arcade Challenge. Juff's choice was Continental Circus, which has trebled after his win, and I know he's very good at that game. My choice was the Sega Classic, Hang On, which I'd like an excuse to play again. So let's set things going and see what we get. Okay, it's slowing down. Okay, I don't think it's going to be Continental Circus. Is it going to tick over? I think it has. So this is 100 mile... Was it 100 mile rally or 1000 mile rally? Something mile rally. 
and it's either a hundred or a thousand. And um, not a game I've even heard of. I vaguely uh, remember Bob saying maybe it's not the best high score game, but um, I'll go look it up, uh, make a video, and hopefully it'll be decent. So our next game is Mila Melia, Great Thousand Miles Rally, released by Kaneko in 1994. This is an isometric view racing game set around the classic Mila Melia. In 1994, Sega released Daytona USA, and they'd released Virtual Racing in 1992, so this is far from cutting edge graphics wise. It does play okay, and reminds me of Neo Drift Out, and predates that game by two years. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a scoring system, just times for each round, so we'll have to be creative. I propose that we do the sum of your times for the first two stages. This may take some remembering, so don't worry if you miss a screenshot. The best times are remembered, so you can always go back and screenshot as long as you meet the worst time on the board, which is around 59.5 seconds. The first stage is quite doable, so I think most people should be able to get a score in, and then it's a case of optimising your runs. We did something similar with pole position qualifying, which turned out pretty good in the end. We'll be using the 940718 ROM, which is DTMR.zip, and default settings as usual. Let's now find out what our next genre will be. I've got 11 genres here, and the most popular continues to be Puzzle, with 4 votes. Next is Single Screen Platform with 3. So let's set the select going again, and see what we get. Okay, slowing down. Oh, it's not going to be Juff, is it? No, it's stopping. Okay, cool. So, single screen platformer. Um, yeah, I think this will probably be a pretty pretty popular one. Um, yeah, should be good. So, so yeah, I hope you all enjoy playing some Mila Melia. Um, and I'll be back in a couple of weeks with the scores. See you then. Bye. Yeah.